Hello Liberty Benton. This video is for students who are either new to the high school or would like a fresher on some of the technologies that we use at the high school. If you go from the middle school to the high school as a student, you're going to transition from an iPad to a PC. I'm going to talk a little bit about the main differences between these two devices. The number one difference is the screen. Now, when you get one of our PCs, it's going to open up nice and flat, and you're going to, at some point, think you can carry it around by the screen. Don't ever do that. Instead, carry it by the bottom, or better yet, close it and carry it just like you would carry a book. The number one way that screens are broken in the school is someone carries or opens the laptop using just the screen. So avoid that, everything you can do. The next thing is when you use your laptop, you're going to have to log in with a username and a password. Your username is just the beginning part of your email, not your whole email. And the password is the same password that you've always used. But in high school, we're going to ask you to change that password. There'll be an email later on explaining how you can do that. For now, go ahead and log in using the credentials you've always used. You. On, on an iPad, you also use the button, either the main button on the front or the power button to do a lot of things. On a PC, you use the power button for one thing and one thing only, and that's to turn on your PC. The way you turn off your PC is you click at the bottom on the Windows icon, click on the power icon, and then you select shut down. You should shut your computer down every single day. In fact, anytime you leave a building, you should shut your computer down. So before you leave the high school, you should shut it down. Before you leave your house, you should shut it down. Shut your computer down often, it'll work a whole lot better. We also use Google Drive for all of our file storage. And there's already an app installed on your computer called Drive File Stream. You need to start this app one time so that all your files are available through the file manager. So to do this, you click on the Start button again and navigate to Drive File Stream. Click on that, it's going to ask you for your email and your password, and after you've logged in once, you're going to see this icon appear in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. As long as that's there, you have access to all of your files on Google Drive through the file system that's built into your PC. You also have a copy of Office 365 that's already installed. The first time you run it, you're going to be asked to log in to authenticate its use. You have an email from me with your username and password for Office 365 specifically. It's going to be a little bit different login username. It's not your school email address. If you look at it closely, it's slightly different. You only have to do this once on your PC, then Office 365 is going to work as long as you use that particular PC. I keep a, a link that has everything I've talked about uh, printed uh, on my office door. If you ever stop by, just take a note of that. It has everything I've just talked about, plus a few extra things. I'm in the high school in room 113. Uh, if you ever need to contact me and I'm not around, just shoot me an email. My email address is at the bottom of the screen. We are really looking forward to having you guys back in the district. This is going to be an exciting year. We're excited with all the technology that we're going to use and have a great year, I'll be.